Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan and today I want to do a video on how the raw foods diet is a scam. That's right, the raw foods diet is another scam, just like the vegetarian diet. So people think out here, it's a popular myth out here today, they just eat raw foods. Raw foods are healthy. You have to eat enzymes and you know if you don't eat raw foods then it destroys the nutrients and destroys the enzymes and they believe all this bullshit out here today which is a complete and total myth. It is actually true that cooking made us human. Cooking, 2.8, close to about 2 million years ago, the advent of fire and the cooking of plants and animal foods is actually what made us human. It made us to be very intelligent, be very sexual, and be very social. That is the truth uh, in terms of human evolution. As far as eating raw foods, that is a complete and total fraud, just like the vegetarian myth. I used to be a raw foodist. I used to be close to a raw foodist, a pseudo raw foodist, really, for close to about four years. I wasn't completely raw, as as many people who are in that uh, religious, you know, religious type cult, um, you know, adhere to these the uh, seven percent raw, eighty percent raw, ninety percent raw, whatever. I wasn't a hundred percent raw if you will but I did eat a lot of raw foods and you know for a while that's what I did because that's what I believed to be true even though I had believed in a complete lie but it's not true that eating raw foods is healthy uh, and actually when you cook food it actually makes it more nutritious it breaks down the food which helps your digestive system and you're able to absorb more of the nutrients because the food is broken down so you're able to absorb more of it versus when you're eating just raw spinach raw kale raw nuts, raw meat, your body cannot absorb all the critical nutrients, protein, amino acids, zinc, vitamin C, etc., from eating those uncooked foods. So that's why you actually, you know, are better off eating cooked foods, uh, particularly, you know, cooked vegetables and meat, because you don't necessarily need to cook your fruits, because those are already just ready to eat, but you're better off doing that than you are eating raw uh, fruits and vegetables. And it has been shown that eating raw foods can make you impotent and infertile. There are many women out here today who say, oh, it's not natural to have your period. It's not natural to have your period, which is, a, which is a complete and total lie. If you stop having your period, that means that you're infertile. And that's not actually a good thing at all. So, you know, for people out there who, you know, eating raw foods and not having a period, that's a symptom that something is wrong with you. Um, you have a condition known as amnorrhea, which means the absence of your period. And that's not a good thing. But again, if you're eating raw foods, which is an anti-human diet, along with the vegetarian diet, then you will uh, suffer from impotence and you will suffer from infertility and won't be able to have a difficult time having kids as a result. Uh, but don't believe the hype that just because you're suffering, you're not experiencing a period that's not natural to have one. It's actually very natural to have one. If women who don't have them, that is a very serious condition. And that's why I do not advocate a raw foods diet. So, you know, just, just so everyone can know out there, um, you know, the raw food diet is a scam. You know, there are many scams out there. And the whole premise of it is really based upon some book that was written in the 1930s by the scientists who talked about enzymes and enzyme health. And yes, there are some different digestive enzymes found in mango, found in papaya. Um, but the idea that there's enzymes in all, in all these different food we're supposed to eat uh, is a complete and total myth. Uh, it's just not true. And again, it's not based upon science. It's based upon lies and propaganda. Just like the vegetarianism and veganism is based upon lies and propaganda. It's based upon animal rights activist propaganda. And this whole raw food myth is based upon just, um, you know, some snake oil sales person's propaganda as well. Um, because there aren't any enzymes in food that you're missing out on when you cook it. Um, actually, you know, to the contrary, when you don't cook food, it actually becomes less nutritious. When you don't cook your vegetables, um, it, it becomes less nutritious. So that's why many cultures, they actually cook the vegetables in fat because the fat makes the food, makes, makes the nutrients found in the food more absorbable because many of the different antioxidants, they're absorbed better in the presence of fat. So that's why it's actually best to eat cooked foods. So that's just a quick little video for you all. I'll post a link down below with the study which documents how uh, raw foods is a scam and how it can cause impotence and infertility. Uh, and you all enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Dr. Curtis Duncan. That's D-R-C-U-R-T-I-S-D-U-N-C-A-N. Website is www 
D-R-C-U-R-T-I-S-D-U-N-C-A-N.com. And you all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.